Part four. What is an organ-based activity score? An organ-based activity score is different than a global score. In an organ-based score, each organ or system in the body is scored separately. So you don't combine the scores to make a score for the whole body. The main organ-based score is the British Isles Lupus Assessment Group Index, or BILAG. BILAG, as you might guess, was developed in the British Isles. There are two types of BILAG, Classic BILAG and BILAG 2004, which is the current version, full stop. It was updated in 2004 to include different organs or systems. The principle of BILAG is that on the sheet where you record the data, you record the symptoms in each system separately. So there's a section for the skin, a section for the kidney, a section for the musculoskeletal system and so on. The BILAG recording sheet is more complicated than the SLEDA recording sheet, but when you're used to it, it's still quite quick to complete. Just as for SLEDI, in BILAG, you can only record things that you think are due to the disease. Do not record any features which are not due to lupus. BILAG also includes a way of recording whether things are getting better or worse, which is hard to record in SLEDI. So in a BILAG, for any manifestation, you can record whether it is new, whether it is getting worse, whether it is staying the same, or getting better. And that means, was it better in the previous month compared to the month before? So you can see that to some extent, BILAG has a little more complicated than SLEDI, but on the other hand, BILAG gives you more information on the level of individual organs. So how is BILAG actually scored? In a BILAG score, when you have the sheet on which you recorded all the information, each organ can be recorded and scored separately. So let's take the skin as an example. You have the scores for all the symptoms occurring in the skin. Using a glossary or a computer-based system, you can then calculate whether the skin is active or not. It is scored from A to E. A means it's highly active, that is to say you would be using high-dose steroids or immunosuppressants. B means it's active but not highly active, you would use lower doses of steroids. C means that there's a low-level activity which isn't making you change the treatment. D means that organ was once active but it's not active anymore. And E means that organ was never active. So at the end of the BILAG assessment, for all the eight organs or systems, you have a score from A to E. So a BILAG score isn't a number. A BILAG score is a series of letters. You might say this patient today has BILAG A in the skin, E in the kidney, C in the musculoskeletal system, D in the haematological system, or so on. Just like SLEDI, BILAG has advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is you can tell exactly which system is active and how it has changed from previous occasions, so it's richer in terms of data. A disadvantage is that it may be more difficult to extract the information and analyse it, and because it doesn't come out in terms of a number, it's harder to do statistics. It is actually possible to derive what's called a global BILAG score by converting the letters into numbers and adding them all together, and you can do statistics that way. You can also interpret BILAG in terms of the number of organs which have an A score or a B score at a particular time. So you can compare BILAG in a statistical way, but it is a little more difficult than with SLEDI. The proponents of BILAG stress the advantage of having more data on each organ.